I'm going to present to you the HL7 message and its fields and components. So we will start with launching our application, the Holy 7. Then we go to the viewer side. We put our message in the text box and then click view. And today I'm going to talk about the MSH segments. The MSH segment is a required segment for each HL7. So there is no HL7 message without MSH segments as the beginning of the message. The first field for the MSH segment is the name of it. And then we will have the field separator, which is this pipe. And then we will have the characters that we'll use to separate components, caret, which is breaking down components into subcomponents, and the repeater, which is repeating the same component inside the field. Breaker, it's breaking the components into two parts, and, uh, and so, which is combining two components in one field. Then we have an MSH2, the sending application. In MSH3, it's the sending facility. It could be the unit that the transaction is coming from. MSH4, it's the receiving application. It could be PAX, it could be Parscribe could be lab, the MSH5, it's the receiving facility, which could be lab or x-ray facility. MSH6, it has the date and time of the transaction with the adjustment for the time zone. MSH8, it has the message type, which is in this case ADT, and it has the message trigger, which is A08, it is an update. MSH9, it's the unique identifier of the message and the MSH10 it's what type of environment that it's used to which is in this case production MSH11 it's the version of this HL7 messages which is 2.3 and finally MSH17 it's the country code okay and now we will go through an overview of how these transaction works First, the transaction start triggering in Cerner, and then it will go outbound to the engine. The engine could be Ensemble, could be Rhapsody, could be eGate, could be any other system that your company has. And then the engine will send that out to the vendor. The vendor system will process that message and it will show it on their end. Then the vendor also can start a transaction from their end and that will come back to the engine, the Ensemble, eGate, or Rhapsody, or any other engine you have in your company, then it will transit inbound to Cerner, and then it will post in Cerner and it will show on the Cerner application. You can get this application from the Windows Store. If you go to Holy7, you can find the application there. It's free to download for two weeks. You can use it for two weeks for free. After that, you have to pay $1.99. It's a good price for a trusted application from the Windows Store where it's not going to capture any of your uh, patient information. It's, that's what makes it different from other free applications available online. Hope that this is a great application that you will enjoy. Thank you and until next time.